Could a simple coin in your pocket be worth $1 million? What if I told you that the 1964 D Mint Mark coins could make you rich beyond your wildest dreams? In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of rare coins, specifically the 1964 D Lincoln pennies and other coins from that year that collectors are willing to pay thousands, sometimes even millions, of dollars for. Stick around to find out what makes these coins so valuable and how you can check if you've been sitting on a fortune all along. Before we get into the jaw-dropping values, let's first talk about the history behind the 1964 D coins. The D stands for the Denver Mint where these coins were produced. 1964 was a significant year in U.S. coinage history. It was the last year that silver coins were produced in large quantities with pennies being made from copper. That alone makes these coins a must-have for collectors. But what makes the 1964 D coins so special? Well, certain rare errors, high grades, and unique features have made them highly desirable in the world of coin collecting. Now, let's dive into the most exciting part, rare errors and varieties that can make a simple 1964 D coin worth a fortune. Some of the most sought-after errors include missed strikes, double dies, and repunched mint marks. These errors occur during the minting process, and collectors go crazy for them. Here's what you need to look out for. Look for doubling on the date or lettering, especially on the word liberty or in God we trust. This occurs when the D mint mark was stamped multiple times, causing a visible shift in the mark. Coins that were struck outside the center of the die can be worth thousands. These imperfections in the die during production leave raised lines or blobs on the coin surface, adding to their rarity and value. If your 1964 D coin has any of these errors, you could be looking at a gold mine. The highest value comes when these errors are paired with high grade coins, those that are in excellent condition. When it comes to rare coins, condition is everything. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70 by organizations like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, and the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC. A coin with a high grade, such as MS65 or higher, can drastically increase its value. For example, a 1964D Lincoln penny in perfect mint state with no visible, where it can sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. A coin in mint state 65 or higher could fetch top dollar at auction, especially if it has one of those rare errors we mentioned earlier. Now let's talk about the big money. Some 1964 D coins have sold for astonishing amounts at auctions. The combination of rarity, demand, and condition has pushed certain 1964 D Lincoln pennies to reach sky high prices. For example, one of these pennies, graded MS67, was recently sold for over $15,000. And some other coins from 1964, especially rare errors, have reached close to $1 million. It might sound unbelievable, but it's true. Certain combinations of errors and mint state grades can lead to massive payouts. Imagine finding one of these in your coin jar or inherited collection. So how do you check if your 1964 D coin is worth $1 million? Here are some easy steps you can follow to examine your coins at home. Use a magnifying glass or microscope to carefully inspect the coin for any mint errors. Make sure the coin has the D mint mark and check the condition of the date and lettering for any signs of doubling. The less where your coin has, the better. Look for sharp details and a shiny finish. If you think your coin has value, send it to be graded by professionals like Peace GS or NGC to get an accurate assessment. Once graded, you can take your coin to auction houses or online platforms like eBay to see what it's worth. Who knows? You might have a million dollar coin in your collection. Before you rush off to sell, Remember that the best way to get top dollar for your coin is through a professional auction or an experienced dealer. If you have a rare 1964D Lincoln penny in high condition, 
don't settle for less than it's worth. Do your research, get it graded, and you could be well on your way to a life-changing payday. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips on rare coins worth big money. Let us know in the comments if you think you have a valuable 1964 D penny. Could a simple penny in your pocket change be worth over a million dollars? Yes, you heard that right. Some rare 1980 no mint Mark Lincoln pennies are fetching as much as $1.2 million at auctions. In this video, we'll uncover the mystery behind these highly valuable coins, show you how to identify them, and explain why they could make you the next millionaire. Let's dive in. The 1980 Lincoln penny might seem like any other coin you come across in your day-to-day -day life. But did you know that some of these pennies, especially those without a mint mark, have become incredibly valuable? So what exactly makes a no mint mark coin from 1980 so special? Before we get into the big numbers, let's first understand what no mint mark means. U.S. coins are typically struck at various mints across the country, such as Denver, Philadelphia, and San Francisco. Coins minted in Denver carry a D-mint mark, while those from San Francisco bear an S. However, pennies minted in Philadelphia have no mint mark at all. A 1980 penny with no mint mark indicates that it was produced in Philadelphia. While that might seem unremarkable, Certain rare variations and conditions can turn this humble penny into a treasure worth a fortune. So what's the reason behind these million dollar price tags? It all comes down to two main factors, rarity and condition. Most of the valuable 1980 no mint mark pennies are in near perfect condition, referred to as mint state or MS. Coins that are in pristine, mint state condition are extremely rare especially for a coin that's been in circulation for over 40 years. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar, sometimes up to $1.2 million, for these pristine examples. So how can you tell if the 1980 penny in your possession is worth $1.2 million? First, you'll need to inspect the condition. Look for coins that have little to no wear and appear almost brand new. These coins will have strong, Define features with no scratches, dents, or discoloration. Coins in mint state, particularly those graded MS65 and hired by professional coin grading services, can fetch the highest prices. One such 1980 no mint mark penny in MS68 condition was sold at auction for an incredible $1.2 million. So, condition is key. Rarity is another major factor in the value of these coins. While millions of 1980 pennies were minted in Philadelphia, only a tiny fraction has survived in such perfect condition. The rarity of high-grade coins, combined with the demand from collectors, drives up the price dramatically. Collectors and investors alike are always on the lookout for these gems, which is why a well-preserved 1980 no-mint mark penny could be worth its weight in gold or even more. If you think you've found a valuable 1980 penny, your next step is to get it professionally graded. Professional grading services, like PCGS or NGC, will evaluate your coin's condition and assign it a grade, which is essential for determining its value. Once graded, your coin's value will be certified, making it easier to sell to collectors or auction houses. And who knows? That 1980 penny you found could be worth $1.2 million. While the 1980 no mint mark penny in mint condition is the most valuable, there are other valuable 1980 pennies worth keeping an eye on. Error coins, such as off center strikes or double dies, can also command high prices. Even pennies with slight imperfections can be valuable, so always check your coins closely you never know what hidden treasure you might find. So, the next time you're sorting through your pocket change, don't dismiss those old pennies too quickly. Your 1980 no mint mark penny could be worth a life-changing sum of money. Remember, it's all about condition, rarity, and the right buyer. If you enjoyed learning about these valuable coins, 
hit the like button and subscribe for more videos on rare coins that could make you rich. And don't forget to drop a comment below if you think you've found a rare penny. Have you ever wondered if there could be a fortune hiding in your pocket change? Imagine coming across a coin worth $1.4 million. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of rare 1964 Nomad Mark coins and why they're so incredibly valuable. Let's talk about the 1964 Nomad Mark coins. Whether it's pennies, dimes, or quarters, these coins are among the most fascinating treasures for collectors. But first, what exactly is a Nomad Mark coin? And why does it matter? A mint mark is a small letter on the coin that indicates where it was made. Coins minted in Philadelphia, however, often have no mint mark. That's why these coins from 1964 without a mint mark were made in Philadelphia. But wait! Why would one of these coins fetch an astonishing $1.4 million? The key lies in their rarity and historical significance. You see, 1964 was a special year for U.S. coinage. The country was phasing out silver in coins like the dime and quarter, which had been 90% silver up until then. This change made the 1964 coins one of the last batches to contain significant amounts of silver, instantly boosting their value. But there's more to it than just silver content. It's not just any 1964 no mint mark coin, that could be worth millions. Condition is everything. Coins that have been kept in perfect condition, often called uncirculated or graded at the highest level, are where the big money comes in. A pristine 1964 coin can skyrocket in value, especially if it's graded by a reputable company like PCGS or NGC. When coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a flawless, perfect coin, it's the highest grades that attract big collectors. A 1964 no mint mark coin that's graded as mint state 67 or higher could easily be worth hundreds of thousands or even over $1 million at auction. So, if you think you have a 1964 no mint mark coin, get it checked. Professional grading is crucial to determining its true value. But how do you spot one of these rare coins in your collection or pocket change? First, look carefully at any 1964 coin in your possession. If there's no mint mark under the date, congratulations, you have a Philadelphia minted coin. Next, check the condition. The less wear and tear, the more valuable it could be. If it looks shiny and has sharp details, you might want to consider sending it for grading. To submit your coin for grading, you'll need to send it to one of the top coin grading services, like PCGS or NGC. They'll carefully examine it, assign a grade, and give you a certificate proving its authenticity. This is an important step if you want to sell your coin for top dollar. Once graded, a high-quality 1964 no mint mark coin could be worth a life-changing amount of money. Imagine the thrill of seeing your coin sold at an auction for over a million dollars. Now, let's talk a little bit about why 1964 is such a special year in coin collecting history. This was right at the end of the silver era. The U.S. Mint was shifting away from using silver in dimes and quarters, making the 1964 coins the last of their kind. Collectors prize these coins because they represent a turning point in U.S. currency but the real value comes from scarcity and condition. Only a handful of these coins are in mint condition, which makes them extremely rare. And in the world of coin collecting, rarity equals value. That's why a 1964 no mint mark coin in perfect condition can fetch up to $1.4 million at auction. So, do you have a rare 1964 no mint mark coin hiding in your collection? Be sure to check those coins carefully. You might be holding on to something worth far more than just face value. Thanks for watching, coin enthusiasts. Don't forget to like this video, share it with fellow collectors, and subscribe to the channel for more exciting coin news and updates. Drop a comment below if you think you might have one of these rare coins. Who knows, 
Your next find could be worth millions. Have you ever wondered if that penny in your pocket could be worth a life-changing amount of money? Well, you're in for a surprise. Today, we're diving deep into the world of the 2016 Lincoln penny with no mint mark. That's right, a simple penny that could be worth an astonishing $1.6 million. Imagine flipping a penny and realizing you just hit the jackpot. In this video, We'll break down everything you need to know about the 2016 No Mint Mark Penny, why it's so valuable, and most importantly, how you can spot one. Let's jump right in. First, let's talk about the 2016 Lincoln Penny itself. In 2016, the U.S. Mint produced billions of these pennies as part of their regular minting process. Typically, pennies struck at the Philadelphia Mint don't carry a mint mark while those from Denver and San Francisco do. So, if you see a penny without a mint mark, chances are it was minted in Philadelphia. But here's where it gets interesting. Not all 2016 no mint mark pennies are created equal. Most are just your regular one cent coin, but a few rare specimens have something special about them. These unique coins are what make collectors go crazy with some fetching prices as high as $1.6 million. You might be asking, what could possibly make a penny from 2016 worth more than a million dollars? Great question. It's all about errors and rarity. Error coins are produced when something goes wrong during the minting process. These errors can range from a slight misalignment of the design to the wrong metal being used. Some errors are so small that they're hard to detect with the naked eye. But when a major error happens, it can turn a regular penny into a collector's dream. This is exactly what happened with some 2016 pennies. The most sought after 2016 pennies are those that have error features, especially double dies. A double die error occurs when the coin's design is imprinted twice, slightly off, creating a doubling effect. Look closely at the date, lettering, or Lincoln's profile. If you spot this doubling, you might just have a treasure on your hands. So how can you tell if your 2016 penny is one of the million dollar coins? Let's go over the key features to look for. Take a good look at the year 2016 and the words in God we trust or liberty. Use a magnifying glass if necessary. If you see a slight shadow or doubling effect on the text, this could be a rare double die error. While error coins are valuable, condition plays a huge role in determining the final price. A 2016 penny in mint state, meaning it's free of wear and tear, can skyrocket in value. Even the tiniest scratch can bring the price down, so finding one in pristine condition is essential. Some rare pennies are made of the wrong metal or have other striking issues. These errors can dramatically increase the coin's value. Always check with a professional grader to confirm any unusual features. But why would someone pay over a million dollars for a penny? It's simple, rarity, demand, and historical significance. Serious collectors are always on the hunt for the rarest and most unique coins to complete their collections. When only a few error coins exist, they become extremely valuable. In recent years, the coin collecting community has seen several record-breaking sales for rare pennies, and as more people recognize the value of these hidden gems, prices have only continued to rise. If you happen to own one of these rare 2016 pennies, it's like holding a piece of American history in your hands, which is why collectors are willing to pay top dollar. All right. So let's say you've found a rare 2016 penny with an error. What's next? How do you turn this penny into a million dollar payout? Before selling your coin, you'll need to have it professionally graded by a reputable service like PCGS or NGC. This will verify the coin's authenticity, error, and condition. Rare coins like this often fetch the highest prices at auction houses. Keep an eye on big-name auction platforms like Heritage Auctions, Stax Bowers, or even online platforms like eBay for serious bidders. Before making any sale, 
it's wise to consult with a coin expert or appraiser. They can help you navigate the market and get the best price possible for your rare find. So there you have it. That 2016 penny with no mint mark in your pocket could be worth an incredible $1.6 million if it has the right error. Remember, the key is spotting the rare errors, getting your coin graded, and knowing where to sell it. Dot if you love collecting or just want to learn more about valuable coins, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future videos. Who knows? You could be the next person to discover a million dollar treasure hidden in your change. Thanks for watching and happy hunting. Until next time, keep checking your change. You never know what treasures you'll find. We're diving deep into a hidden treasure from 1985, the rare 1985 D. Lincoln penny that could be worth an astonishing $1.7 million. If you're a coin collector, or just curious about the value of your pocket change, you won't want to miss this. Let's get started. The Lincoln penny has been a staple in American currency since 1909, but the 1985 D. Mintmark version is where the real story begins. Minted in Denver, this coin carries the iconic image of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and the classic wheat design on the reverse. So why is the 1985 D penny worth up to $1.7 million? It all comes down to a few key factors. Rarity, demand, and condition. While millions of 1985 D pennies were produced, only a small number have been graded as high quality. Collectors are always on the lookout for coins that are not only rare, but also in excellent condition. The demand for rare coins has skyrocketed in recent years. Collectors want unique pieces to add to their collections, and the 1985 D penny has become a hot item. Coins graded at MS67 or higher can fetch astronomical prices at auctions. The finer the condition, the more valuable the coin becomes. Now that you know why the 1985 D penny is valuable, let's talk about how to identify one. Here are some tips. The D mint mark indicates it was made in Denver. Make sure it's clearly visible. Use a magnifying glass to check for scratches or wear. Coins in pristine condition are the most valuable. Some 1985 D pennies have unique errors, like double strikes or misaligned designs. These can significantly increase value. Let's take a look at some real life sales. A 1985 D penny graded at MS67 sold for an astounding $1.7 million at a recent auction. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for coins with verified high grades and unique features. If you're looking to get into collecting or just want to know more about your coins, here are some tips. Stay informed about the market and prices for specific coins. Connect with other collectors to share knowledge and tips. Websites, forums, and books can be invaluable for understanding coin value and grading. Thanks for joining me today as we explored the fascinating world of the 1985 D. Lincoln penny and its incredible value. If you think you might have one in your collection, be sure to check it out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin collecting tips and valuable insights. We're diving deep into a fascinating topic that could change your financial future, the 1968 S. Lincoln penny. You might not believe it, but this coin can be worth up to a staggering $1.8 million. Stick around as we explore its history, rarity, and how you can find one. Let's start with some background. The Lincoln penny was first introduced in 1909, featuring the iconic design by Victor David Brenner. By 1968, the U.S. Mint was producing coins in both Philadelphia and San Francisco, with the San Francisco Mint marking coins with an S. But what makes the 1968 S penny so special? In 1968, over 4.7 billion Lincoln pennies were produced, but only a small fraction were minted in San Francisco. The rarity comes from the fact that most collectors are unaware of the value of these specific coins. 
The 1968 S. Penny was initially released in uncirculated condition, and a handful of them were struck as proof coins. It's these proof coins that hold the most value, particularly if they are in pristine condition. Now, let's talk about grading. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being perfect. The value of your 1968 S. Penny can dramatically increase based on its condition. A well-preserved proof coin can fetch upwards of $1.8 million at auction. So what should you look for? Look for a smooth, shiny surface without any scratches or marks. A deep, rich copper color indicates a higher quality coin. Ensure it has the S. Mint mark on the reverse side. So, how do you identify a valuable 1968 S penny? Here's a quick guide. Check the reverse side for the S mint mark. Inspect for details and surface quality. Look up recent auction results to gauge current market value. If you have a 1968 S penny, take the time to have it appraised by a professional to know its true worth. You may be wondering where to find these coins. Here are a few tips. Always look through your pocket change. You never know what you might find. Attend local coin shows and markets. You might need dealers who have valuable coins for sale. Websites like eBay often have listings for rare coins. Just make sure to verify the seller's credibility. While hunting for these treasures, avoid these common mistakes. Not all 1968 S pennies are valuable. Condition is key. Research prices thoroughly to avoid getting scammed. The market fluctuates. It may be worth waiting to sell for a higher price. I in conclusion, the 1968 S Lincoln Penny is not just another coin. It's a piece of history that could make you a millionaire. Remember to check your coins carefully and always stay informed about the market. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on valuable coins. Comment below if you have a 1968 S Penny or if you have any questions. We're diving into a hidden treasure in your pocket change the 1973D Lincoln Penny. You won't believe that this little coin could be worth a staggering $1.9 million. Stick around to learn how to identify it, where to find it, and tips on selling it for top dollar. First, let's cover the basics. The 1973D Penny was minted in Denver and features the classic Lincoln design. But not all 1973D pennies are created equal. Most are worth just one cent, but there's a rare variety that skyrocketed in value. The key to the 1973D penny's value lies in a rare variety known as the double die obverse. This means that during the minting process, the design was accidentally stamped twice, leading to a noticeable doubling effect, especially on Lincoln's words and features. Collectors covet this error, pushing its value into the millions. So how can you tell if your 1973D penny is the valuable one? Here are a few tips. Check for any doubling, especially on Liberty and the date. The details should appear blurred or doubled. Ensure it's a D4 Denver dot if you find these features, you might be holding a gold mine. But what drives the value of this penny to an incredible $1.9 million? It's not just rarity, it's also the demand among collectors. In 2018, one of these double die pennies sold at auction for nearly $2 million. The combination of collector interest, historical significance, and the sheer thrill of owning such a rare piece makes this coin a hot commodity. Now that you know what to look for, where can you find these rare coins? Here are a few tips. Buy rolls of pennies from your local bank and check them for the 1973D. Keep an eye out for old coin collections. Check eBay or specialized coin auction sites, but ensure you verify authenticity. If you're lucky enough to find this rare coin, you might be wondering how to sell it. Here's how. Take it to a reputable coin dealer for an evaluation. Having the coin graded by a professional can significantly increase its value. Auction houses often attract serious buyers willing to pay top dollar. Make sure to do your research and choose the best-selling option for your coin. 
To wrap it up, the 1973 D. Lincoln penny is not just a piece of change. It's a potential fortune waiting to be discovered. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on valuable coins. Let us know in the comments if you've ever found a rare coin in your pocket change. We're diving into the world of the 2017 D. Mintmark coins that could be worth a staggering $1.4 million. If you're a collector or just curious about the valuable coins hiding in your pocket change, this video is for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more incredible coin content. First, let's clarify what we mean by 2017 D Mint Mark coins. The D indicates that these coins were minted in Denver, Colorado. Among the many coins produced that year, some are particularly rare due to low mintage, errors, or unique features that make them stand out. Whether it's pennies, nickels, or dimes, we'll cover what makes these coins so special. Now, let's take a closer look at the types of 2017 D Mint Mark coins that have fetched astonishing prices. The standard Lincoln penny from this year can be worth anywhere from $1 to over $500, depending on its condition. Look for high-grade examples or special errors. These coins can reach up to $1,000 if they feature rare errors like double dies or specific design variations. While most dimes are fairly common, special editions or errors could push their value into the hundreds or even thousands for pristine examples. This quarter has been seen selling for over $1,400 due to its rarity and collector demand. Identifying these valuable coins requires a keen eye. Here's how to spot them. Look for double strikes, off-center coins, or unusual markings. Coins graded as MS65 or higher are much more valuable. This can help you spot fine details and any potential errors. Now that you know what to look for, where can you find these coins? Start with your local bank. You can often buy rolls of coins. These are treasure troves for collectors. You might find rare coins that aren't listed online. Websites like eBay or specialized coin auction sites often have listings for valuable coins. Just be sure to verify the seller's credibility. If you find a valuable 2017 D coin, selling it can be exciting. Here are some tips. This will help you understand its true value. They can reach a wide audience of collectors. Make sure you're getting a fair price. Research is key. Thanks for watching. Now that you know all about 2017 D Mintmark coins and their potential worth, keep your eyes peeled when checking your pocket change. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow coin collectors, and leave a comment below with your favorite coin discovery. We're diving deep into a fascinating piece of numismatic history, the 1968 Nomad Mark Lincoln Penny. Believe it or not, this little coin could be worth a staggering $1.2 million. Stick around to find out why, how to spot it, and tips on selling it if you find one. Let's start with a brief overview of the coin. The 1968 Nomad Mark Lincoln Penny was produced in Philadelphia where coins were minted without a mint mark during the year. Unlike other years, this penny stands out due to its rarity, especially in high grades. So what makes the 1968 no mint mark penny so valuable? It all comes down to its rarity. While millions were minted, only a small number are in pristine condition. The coin's value skyrockets when graded as uncirculated or MS-65 and above. Some collectors are willing to pay up to $1.2 million for the perfect specimen. Here's how you can identify this valuable coin. Check for the year 1968.L look for the absence of a mint mark on the obverse. If it's missing, you might have a winner. The better the condition, the higher the value. Look for sharp details, minimal wear, and a shiny finish. Use a magnifying glass to inspect for any flaws or unique characteristics. To understand why this coin is so sought after, let's take a trip back to 1968. 
It was a tumultuous time in America, marked by significant social change. The pay itself has become a symbol of that era, reflecting the economic challenges and transitions in currency production. Now, let's talk about the market. Demand for rare coins has surged in recent years. Collectors are always on the lookout for high-value items to complete their collections. The 1968 Nomad Mark Penny has become a hot item at auctions, with prices reaching the $1.2 million mark. If you happen to find one, here's how to sell it. Take it to a professional grading service. A higher grade means more money. Look at recent auction prices to gauge the current market value. Consider reputable auction houses or platforms like eBay to reach a larger audience. Remember, authenticity is key, so keep your coin's provenance documented. In summary, the 1968 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny is more than just a piece of currency. It's a potential treasure worth $1.2 million. If you're a coin collector or just someone who enjoys searching through pocket change, Keep your eyes peeled for this rare gem. Did you enjoy today's video? Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more coin hunting tips, and leave a comment below if you've ever found a valuable coin. We're diving into a coin that could make you a millionaire. That's right, today we're talking about the rare 1972 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny, with some examples selling for an astonishing $1.1 million. Stick around as we explore why this penny is so valuable and how you might find one in your pocket change. Let's start with a quick overview of the 1972 Nomad Mark Lincoln Penny. This coin was produced at the Philadelphia Mint, which means it doesn't have a mint mark. While most 1972 pennies are common and worth only a few cents, some rare varieties exist that can be worth a fortune. The regular 1972 pennies were made in massive quantities, over 4.4 billion. But it's the specific characteristics of the rare ones that drive their value up. So, what exactly makes the 1972 No Mint Mark penny so rare? It all comes down to a few key features. One of the most sought after varieties is the double die obverse. This means that the image of Lincoln on the front of the penny has a noticeable doubling effect. Collectors and numismatists are willing to pay top dollar for coins with this error, and the prices can soar into the millions. Coins in mint condition with this doubling can fetch anywhere from $20,000 to over a million dollars. Now that you know what to look for, let's discuss how to identify the rare 1972 No Mint Mark Penny. Here's what you should check for. Look closely at the date 1972 and the words Liberty, and in God we trust. If you see any doubling, you might have a valuable coin. The better the condition, the higher the value. Coins graded as MS65 or higher are the most valuable. If you think you've found a rare 1972 No Mint Mark Penny, here's what to do next. Take your coin to a reputable coin dealer or a numismatist for evaluation. They can help confirm whether it's a valuable variety. If it is rare, consider getting it graded by a professional service. A high-grade coin can significantly increase in value. Decide whether you want to keep it as part of your collection or sell it. Auctions, coin shows, or online platforms can be great places to find buyers. In conclusion, the 1972 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny is a prime example of how a small error can lead to a big payday. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep an eye out for this penny in your change. You never know, your next pocket change could be worth $1.1 million. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insights into valuable coins. Have you ever found a rare penny? Let us know in the comments below.